today I'm going to be building my YouTube logo out of Lego. I'm going to be using this mosaic, personalized mosaic maker set that I got on sale a few months back and it is a really really cool set. So let's hop right into it and unbox this thing. So you have your base plate in the top half. Um, it's sort of attached on there. Um, we'll get that out in a sec. We also have all of the pieces color sorted already, so that's really nice. Um, I assumed they would be sorted in some sort of um, color colored way since it's just colors and the rest of it's custom. So we have all five boxes there. We also have a brick separator in here, so that is nice. I feel like I'll definitely be needing that. And then, yeah, we got the, the base plate in here. So the colors included in the set are white, light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, black, and yellow. So pretty good colors. I, I like all those colors. Um, I think it's a good inclusion. Personally, my favorite color is yellow. So it's nice that they included yellow. And then you got all the other ones with your normal black, neutral colors, white, grays, really nice. And then you just got your normal big old gray base plate. Um, I only have one other one of these and I'm really happy in the including this because I would not want to have to use my other one. Um, so yeah, this is what it's all included in the set. You throw the brick separator in there too. So this is all that's included in the set. And the next step is actually designing what we want to put on it. So to do that, we have to head to the Lego website. Okay, so on the Lego website, if you just go to the Mosaic Maker page, once you're on there, you're just going to want to scroll down to where it says, turn a picture into any Lego portrait. Um, so yeah, you're just going to hit try it now. And then it's just going to make you agree to its terms and conditions and there also will be a part where we'll send you a verification code because you have to sign in. Once you agree to its terms and conditions, you just hit continue. It shows you what kind of pictures. So very basic pictures don't have like really pixelized or like bright, bad contrast pictures. Make sure your pictures are good quality. Um, and then you're going to go to upload picture. So then if we go all the way back to where my YouTube logo is, and we're just going to click on that to start, just because that's what we're going to be doing today. You can pick any picture, though, um, with the exception of the ones that are really bad quality. You can sort of change the contrast of it. It doesn't really do much, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the zoom. And if I wanted to have the whole picture, it'd be very, very pixelated. So what I'm going to do is zoom it in quite a bit and then take it off to the side just so we have sort of the top corner i think that looks pretty good um and we're just ha sort of having the top corner um of the picture and what i'm going to do in the top corner is add something a little bit different in the top corner i haven't really decided what we're going to do in that top corner yet um but just something different so this is what we're going to do is and then we're just going to hit done and then there you go then you have your picture ready to go and that's what i'm going to be doing today is building that Okay, so what I've done is broken the instructions into four second or four sections because basically what it did you is just give you a big picture um, that's really high quality. So what I did is break it into four sections, and then I'm just gonna go around the edges of it to go around the edges and zoom in until I'm just basically making a big spiral inwards, and then I'll do that in this section, and then this section, and then that section. I'm gonna try that after some trials <laughs> i've done a few things and they haven't really worked yet so this is going to be the first one where i actually try and then i'm also just going to be placing this tile down just to keep each individual square straight just so it's in a straight line uh, i'm going to be trying that i'm using a tile because they're easy to get off because they have that little under lip underneath of them so i'm going to be using tiles um, and then I'll see, I'll tell you in a little bit how that works. Um, I'm hoping it's going to work pretty well. And yeah, I'm just going to be spiraling inwards for each section.
So this is what I've gotten done so far. Um, the This I did the first day, this first square I did the first day. And then this square over here I just did this morning. Um, and then this is the one I've been doing today. Or, yeah, I started this this morning. And then this is the one I've been working on for the last probably hour or so. Um, really not liking this section for some reason. It is just very difficult um, to follow. And I'm, I'm just getting discombobulated with this one so I need to hustle on this one but we've also had my first um, run out of pieces uh, I filled all the containers up mostly evenly and the first one we ran out of was black I think I filled the yellow one up more because there's definitely more yellow so far than black so I probably filled the yellow one up more than black um, but I do need to refill so that didn't work So this is how it turned out. It looks very good. If I had to change one thing, I think I'd move it up a little bit. So the forehead would get cut off a little bit more, but then you'd be able to see more of the mouth. Um, I, just, I think it's just got cut off and it's sort of a weird, weird spot there for the mouth. Um, so if I had one thing to change, I'd move it up, but the rest looks super good. And you know what? If I ever want to change it, the, probably the first thing I'll do is take all the yellow and turn it to white. Um, but I think it looks really good for now. I really like the yellow. I prefer the yellow over the white. Um, but if I was to change one thing in the future, um, I would probably change it to white instead of yellow. Um, but anyway, I think it looks super good. But it's missing one little thing. Um, and I'm going to change it right now. There we go. Done. We added the 200 there for 200 subscribers. I'm going to be updating this in the vlogs. Um, next time you see it, it'll probably be at 300. And I actually don't know where I'm going to put this yet. Um, but I, I think we're going to look, take a look at that. Um, but yeah, I really like how this turned out. Uh, it looks so good. I really like it. Once again, the only thing is if I move that up just a touch, uh, just to get a bit of more of the mouth in there. But yeah, I really like how everything turned out. And I'll be updating this to my current subscriber count every once in a while, um, in the vlogs. So yeah, cool. Now we need to figure out where I'm going to put this. This is where it ended up. Um, I don't love it really at all. Like I don't like where it ended up, um, but I can't really think of anywhere else to put it. So it's a little bit of a tight space in here at this point, lacking wall space mainly. Um, I think it might fit over there. I just don't really have any way to mount it. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions of where I should put it, let me know down in the comments. And if you have any suggestions on how to mount it, also put that down in the comments. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and subscribe if you're not already. Um, so we can bump that, bump that number up to hopefully get to a thousand at some point. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video coming very soon. Goodbye.